How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking at some mysterious ghost videos that may just make you a believer. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more scary content just like this. Pubs are known for serving up spirits. However, one supposedly very haunted pub in England that dates back to 1251 really serves up spirits. An establishment called Ye Oldie Man and Scythe in Greater Manchester is famed for being the oldest pub in England. It's also said to be the most haunted. The Daily Mail published footage of what appears to be a ghost moving around the 763 year old pub that was caught on CCTV footage a few years ago. The pub's manager only happened to catch the image of what appears to be the figure of a man lurking in the bar after hours when he investigated smashing glass that could be heard in the bar overnight. In the footage, we see an eerie figure flickering in and out of view. It looks to be wearing a hood, its features are obscured by shadow and its body looks to be transparent. However, the pub's manager has been plagued by strange occurrences since moving in to manage the place. The list of odd occurrences he's had includes being woken up by someone touching him in the night. In addition, tourists have also filmed odd flickers of light and alleged scary ghost videos at the bar. Some months after the initial footage was released, a tourist from Portugal was filming the pub in the hopes of catching something paranormal on film. In the footage, the tourist is talking about the original incident, when suddenly a strange flickering light moves past one of the upstairs windows. Some skeptics believe the footage has been tampered with, as the light looks like a glitch effect added in post-production. Many local residents already knew that the Ye Olde Man and Scythe was haunted long before the Daily Mail and other publications came knocking for footage of scary ghost videos. The long-held belief is that a man named James Stanley has decided to perpetually buck the concept of closing time in the afterlife. Stanley was the Earl of Derby, who was beheaded for his royalist stance during the English Civil War. It's said that he spent his final hours at the inn where the pub is now housed before being beheaded in 1644. Of course, you'll know that any number of spirits could be haunting ye oldie man and scythe, once you're familiar with the pub's bloody past. Hundreds of soldiers and civilians were killed just outside the property during 1644's Bolton Massacre. Do be sure to stop in for a pint at ye oldie man and scythe if you're ever in Manchester. It's almost guaranteed you'll never drink alone if you pull up a stool. It seems that each room is creepier than the next when the group from the popular TFIL YouTube channel visits what is known as the most haunted spot in Texas. It makes us wonder what exactly took place in this hospital when it was up and running. Is it going? You may know that the TFIL group travels the world for overnight experiences in odd or exotic places. However, even a group that's usually up for anything gets a little more than they bargained for during this creepy overnight adventure into haunted territory. They've chosen to stay inside the walls of the abandoned Yorktown Memorial Hospital for this very memorable and bone chilling episode. Come on in. A little background helps when trying to get the full scope of Yorktown's creep factor. The hospital was built in 1951. It was later converted into a rehab facility that was in use up until 1986. However, the facility was fully decommissioned in 1992. It stood essentially preserved in time since then. The TFIL group starts by giving us some background that they've dug up on the hospital. The stats say that more than 2,000 people passed away at the hospital. Many believe that the grounds of the hospital are haunted by nurses who were scarred by their experiences while working at the facility. Does the team find any proof that something supernatural is happening at this abandoned Texas hospital? 
they certainly do find something as they roam the creepy halls of this former facility. I swear to God, I just turned around, I looked into that room and I saw a person. No, no, I'm not no, kidding. Next to the wheelchair. At all. The hour-long piece of footage that TFIL shares is full of chilling, creepy moments. It's definitely a popcorn-worthy episode to enjoy if you have the time. I'll put a link in the description box below. However, you might prefer to get right to the thrills. We'll just pull out three moments in the video that are noteworthy. The first occurs at 36 minutes and 39 seconds. We can clearly see the hands of a doll moving as one of the TFIL investigators reads a book to the ghosts in the hospital. Asked, of course. What the f is that? Did you hear that? Was that moving? Did you guys see that? The room looks to be a storage place for the old toys and cribs used by the former hospital. As the woman reads the children's book aloud, a doll at the bottom of the screen slowly pivots unaided. Can I help change baby's diaper, Ellie asked. Of course. What the f is that? Did you hear that? Was that moving? Did you guys see that? Another notable occurrence happens at 42 minutes and 40 seconds. One of the urban explorers complains about his back feeling sore. <laughs> It's then revealed that his back is actually covered in unexplained scratches and bruises. Whoa. What? Look at this, it's all no, red right no, here. No, look, there's scratch marks. Where did this come from? Those are nails. <gasps> You're talking about there's nails. No, 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 no. Could this facility really be haunted? If the storied history and this footage is anything to go by, then this abandoned hospital might just be a home for restless spirits. Listen, you didn't just hear that? I don't, I don't, I really don't. This one, uploaded to YouTube by Maysville Explorer, is a jump-inducing snippet that earns its place among the best scary ghost videos. It was filmed at the Hayeswood Hospital in Maysville, Kentucky. The background on Hayeswood is that this former hospital watches over the town from a hill. It's been completely abandoned since 1983, the police in Maysville even routinely warn trespassers to stay out for their own safety. However, rumours of shadowy figures and mysterious lights that can be seen on the property entice visitors to crawl into this ramshackle, unstable building regularly to satisfy their curiosities. The video we're sharing here comes from one such visitor. Sadly, the video quality is extremely low and grainy. However, what it captures is enough to send chills down your spine. As the camera pans around the old building, something truly eerie appears on film. Toward the end of the clip, the footage zooms in on a window. A disembodied face appears to be floating just above the sill. It hovers for just a second before disappearing into thin air. This footage has spurred considerable debate among the paranormal community. Some claim that the footage is too blurry to make any definitive conclusions, and that it also lends itself to being easily manipulated. Others, however, herald the footage as solid proof of the afterlife. So what do you think? Real or fake? Let us know in the comments section below. This next one from the Daily Mail reminds us that pranksters aren't always human. A security guard at Thomas Adolfo Duco Stadium in Buenos Aires inadvertently stumbled upon an alleged ghost after investigating doors that were repeatedly opening and slamming shut during patrol. He was doing rounds in the area under the bleachers in the stadium at night when he heard what he believed to be intruders or pranksters slamming doors in the stadium's dressing rooms. In the footage, we see a door slamming over and over. The guard picks up the courage to barge into the room, expecting to see an intruder. However, there's no one there. He pans the camera around the room, but it's completely empty. Then, just as everything seems safe, a shadow scurries past the camera. If you slow the footage down, an amorphous black shape flies past. 
What makes this footage particularly convincing is the way the security guard seems to be terrified by the encounter. It certainly does sound like we're listening to a man who's just had the scare of his life after bumping into a ghost. Interestingly, Thomas Adolfo Duco Stadium isn't a place that has a reputation for being haunted. There doesn't appear to be any sort of lore or spooky history associated with the stadium. However, the stadium does have a long history that goes all the way back to when it was built in 1949. It's not unreasonable to assume that something has happened between then and now that could have left this stadium with a dark secret. User RK on YouTube shared some footage that probably won't put you in the mood to take a night drive. The clip is filmed from the perspective of a rider and passenger on a motorbike. They're riding along a dark stretch of road towards the mountainous resort town of Uti in southern India, a town that is famous for several haunted hotels. As the pair make their way along the quiet road, they see a figure dressed in a long hooded dress. This appearance seems to spook the riders as they scream into the camera. Unsettled by this encounter, they continue down the road for several minutes, when all of a sudden, the same figure appears on the road. Once again, the riders scream out as if they know for sure they've just seen a ghost. How is it possible the same figure was seen twice in two separate spots along this dark and eerie road? Was this really a restless spirit making itself known, or was it simply a case of mistaken identity? Hassan Baba takes us through a tour of an abandoned building in one of the most unsettling scary ghost videos around. This popular YouTuber is known for braving the depths of some of the most dilapidated abandoned buildings in Jordan. In this clip, Hassan explores an old house that looks like it's not been lived in for quite some time. He happens to find an old mirror during his spooky jaunt through its abandoned halls. What happens next is too creepy to be explained. The YouTuber appears to chant as if to invoke a spirit into the room. At around the 10 minute and 18 second mark, a face appears in the mirror. It's dark and featureless and stares directly at the camera. The impressive thing is that the lighting cast onto the mysterious face matches perfectly with the torch lighting in the room, making it unlikely to be CGI. Hassan then spins around to reveal there's no one else in the room with him. He glances around, clearly unsettled, but there's no one there. Either this is an extremely well done hoax, or it indeed shows something not of this world. Before we get to that number one spot and take a look at some truly shocking footage captured in Wolf Manor in California, remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that bell icon there. That way you'll be notified about all our latest scary uploads. A group of Mississippi-based paranormal investigators have caught something truly shocking on camera. The video is much more satisfying once you have some background on where it was filmed. Historic Wolf Manor was a mansion from the turn of the century located in Clovis, California. The property lived out its glory days as a private residence before being transformed into a sanitarium. Built in 1902, Wolf Manor housed a ballroom and basement swimming pool within its 8,000 square feet of gilded living space. The home was transformed into the Hazelwood Sanitarium in 1935. It was then transformed into the Clovis Avenue Sanitarium in 1942. Finally, the home became the wing of the Department of Mental Hygiene during the 1950s. The facility was last used in 1992. It then changed hands a few times while rumours of haunting supernatural activity swirled. 
In fact, a property developer actually purchased the home to turn it into a haunted attraction in 1996. Sadly, Clovis officials ultimately designated the home as being unsafe for occupancy in 2011. Attempts to try to preserve the property were unsuccessful. The formerly Grand Wolf Manor was demolished in 2014. However, the home was featured on shows like Ghost Hunters and Ghost Adventures before being torn down. Video from inside Wolf Manor that was uploaded recently by Ghosts of Mississippi is being called Unseen Footage that was apparently taken while the building was still standing. What is contained in the video is quite possibly the most draw-dropping paranormal activity ever captured on film. Of course, that's assuming that what we're viewing is 100% genuine. While searching the kitchen area of the mansion, one of the investigators films what appears to be a crucifix being pushed up through the floor. Oh God. Who's there? Unfortunately, the resolution of the video isn't great, but if you slow it down, you can indeed see a crucifix rising up from the floor. The investigator then complains there's eerie noises happening all around him. Oh my, I just heard a noise from all around me. Short of someone poking the crucifix up through the floor from a lower level, this piece of footage is really hard to rationalise. How is it possible that a cross could rise up through the floor? Love to hear your opinions of this shocking piece of footage in the comments section below. Who's there? If you want to see some more scary videos, then check out that link on the top there. Otherwise, there's a massive playlist there that'll keep you entertained for hours and hours. Leave us a comment down below, hit that thumbs up button, and that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. Peace.